Hello, Tab Nation. It's me, Tom B. So today we're going to be looking at a real quick video about INIs. I, I completely forgot you could do this, so I just wanted to cover it real quick. And that is how to save the INI, like the variables, to your actual script versus a completely separate text file that's an INI file. Obviously, you can't do this if you are compiling your script to an executable. It does have to be an actual AHK file. So just keep that in mind, uh, whether you should do it this way or how I covered it in the other videos. All right, let's take a look at that code. But first, make sure you subscribe. Throwing you guys two to three videos every week on automating your computer. So we're going to start out here with my INI path variable, which is just the location of my script. So I'm just using that built-in a desktop variable because I just have it on my desktop. And then you can't really, I don't know if you can read that very well right here in that tab, but the name of my script is ini write to script dot ahk. So I'm going to press F1 for my hotkey, and I'm going to get two input boxes here. And I'm just going to store whatever I type in there as info1, info2. Obviously, you should probably get a little more creative with your variable naming than I am in this video. This was just made real quick, and I didn't really care. <laughs> uh, so the title of that input box is just going to be enter data, and it's going to ask me, what would you like to save for info1, and what string would you like to save for info2? Once I'm done those, it's going to go ahead and do an INI write. Hopefully you watched my first video. I'm not really going to dive into this too much here because uh, I explained it there. But we're just saving that variable info one at that location, which is the script here. After we're done that, we're going to press F2. We're going to do an INI read, which is just recalling that information. And we're just going to display it into a message box. Now here's the important part. So in your script somewhere, you're just going to go ahead and set it up like you would in a regular INI file. So I just commented out here, save data here, and I'm doing a beginning and ending commenting. Now, obviously, I could just kind of do semicolons the whole way down, but I just found this way easier with stuff like this. And that's just done by, for the beginning, is just a slash with an asterisk, put my title and my variable names in there with an equal sign, and then my closing one is just the opposite. It's an asterisk first, followed by a slash, and that's just saying... Go ahead and just comment everything out between those two things there. All right, let's go ahead and run that. Show it to you live. I'm going to go ahead, press F1. What string would you like to save for info1? We'll just say Tom B. Okay. What would you like to save for info2? Uh, cookies, why not? We're going to push OK. Let's go back to that script. Now I just got this because I obviously just edit the file. So Notepad++ is just telling me like, hey, this has been modified. Do you want to reload? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yes. And boom, you saw right there, nothing in the script has changed except for that variable uh, got stored here, Tom B and cookies. So let's go ahead and call upon those. F2. There we go. Info1 equals Tom B. Info2 equals cookies. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys find this useful. Like I said, can't use this for any executables that you're creating. Keep that in mind. If you have any questions about this, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help you. See you guys on the next one. Bye.